Today, we zoom in on Russia's withdrawal from the UN World Tourism Organization, or the UNWTO. What does it mean for Russia's tourism industry and the global tourism sector? Russia's decision came before a vote to suspend its membership during an extraordinary session of the UNWTO General Assembly on Wednesday. A message on the official UNWTO Twitter page said the exit process could take about a year. The UNWTO allows its members to achieve local, regional, national and global visibility through its network and channels. Effective immediately, the Russian Federation will not receive services from the organization, including technical assistance, nor will it be able to exercise the rights or enjoy any privileges of UNWTO membership. After the withdrawal, Ross Tourism, that's Russia's federal agency for tourism, said that the situation causes great regret and that Russia will continue to actively develop both domestic and international tourism, regardless of the situation with the UNWTO. Russia's suspension of UNWTO membership and the dragging Russia-Ukraine conflict is hampering the return of confidence in global tourism. According to the UNWTO, as source markets, Russia and Ukraine represented a combined 3% of global spending on international tourism as of 2020. Russians spent about $9.1 billion on traveling abroad in 2020 and some $36 billion in 2019. As tourism destinations, Russia and Ukraine accounted for about 4% of international tourist arrivals in Europe, so both markets are significant, not only for neighboring countries, but also for long-haul sun and sea destinations like the Maldives and Sri Lanka. The impact is also reflected in the more risk-averse source markets like the US and Asia, especially regarding travel to Europe. Tourism is a pillar of peace and international friendship. Economically, tourism is the world's third biggest export sector. As an emerging market spanning two continents, Russia is a particularly intriguing market for the global travel and tourism industry. Now, the Russia-Ukraine conflict presents a major downside risk for international tourism and could delay the sector's already weak and uneven recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. A prolonged conflict, as predicted, could translate into a loss of $14 billion in tourism receipts globally in 2022.